If you ever thought about starting your own site, you've probably come across GoDaddy. But is it actually a good choice? Let's break it down in the simplest way possible so you don't have to feel overwhelmed or deal with any confusing tech jargon. First, let's talk about what GoDaddy actually does. There are two main things you need to have a website, a domain name and web hosting. The domain name is your website's address, like your website.com, so people can find you online. Hosting is where all the files, pictures, and information for your website are stored so that it shows up when someone types in your domain name. Think of it like a house. The domain is the address, and the hosting is the actual building where everything is kept. You need both to make a website work. GoDaddy makes it super easy to buy a domain name. You just type in the name you want, and if it's available, you can buy it instantly. If it's not available, GoDaddy suggests similar names that you might like. The prices for the first year are usually pretty cheap, sometimes just a few dollars, but after that, they go up quite a bit. That's something to keep in mind because a lot of people don't realize how much the renewal cost will be. Now let's talk about hosting. GoDaddy has different hosting plans depending on what you need. If you're just starting out, you probably don't need anything too advanced. Their shared hosting is the most affordable option. This means your website shares space with other websites on the same server. It works fine for small sites, but if a lot of people visit your site at the same time, it might slow down a little. If you want to use WordPress, which is one of the most popular tools for building websites, GoDaddy has a special hosting plan just for that. WordPress makes it easy to design your website, add content, and make changes without needing to know how to code. GoDaddy's WordPress hosting is designed to handle updates and security for you, so you don't have to worry about the technical stuff. One of the reasons people like GoDaddy is because it's beginner-friendly. They have a website builder that lets you design your site with a simple drag-and-drop system. You don't need any experience. Just pick a design, add your text and pictures, and you're good to go. This is great if you just want a basic website without dealing with anything complicated. However, the website builder is a bit limited compared to something like Wix or Squarespace. So if you're planning to grow your site over time, WordPress might be a better option. But there are some downsides. While GoDaddy makes it easy to start, some of the extra features can get expensive. For example, if you want email hosting so you can have an email like you at your website.com or extra security features, you have to pay extra. Some other hosting companies like Bluehost, Hostinger, and SiteGround include these features for free. GoDaddy also charges for things like SSL certificates, which help keep your site secure and improve your ranking on Google. A lot of other hosting providers include SSL for free, but with GoDaddy, you may need to pay extra for it depending on the plan you choose. Speaking of Bluehost, if you're looking for an alternative, Bluehost is officially recommended by WordPress and tends to offer better performance. It includes a free domain for the first year, SSL security, which protects your site and helps it show up on Google, and automatic backups to keep your site safe. Plus, Bluehost has an 80% off discount if you use the coupon code in the description, making it one of the most affordable options. Another option is Hostinger, which is great if you're on a tight budget. Their hosting plans are super cheap, and their performance is actually faster than GoDaddy in a lot of cases. SiteGround is another good choice if you're looking for excellent customer support and security, but it's a little pricier. So, should you choose GoDaddy? If you want something simple and just need a quick way to get online, GoDaddy can work. It's great for buying domains and setting up small sites, but if you're serious about building a website that loads fast, stays secure, and gives you more value for your money, Bluehost or Hostinger might be better choices. If you're ready to start your website, check out the coupon code in the description to save up to 80% on hosting. And if you've used GoDaddy before, let me know what your experience was like. Would you recommend it?